Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and this is Weekly Gaming Recap, bringing you the hottest gaming stories from around the web for the week of October 28th, 2011. First up, Valve has released some screenshots for its Portal 2 level editor. And does this look so much easier than any other level editor we've ever used for an FPS before? And those weren't even used to create the mind-bending mazes possible in Portal 2. If you love JRPGs, you need to get The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, even if that means picking up a PSP. And if you already have a PSP and don't own this game, you should scoop it up pronto. Xseed swung for the fences and hit this one out of the ballpark. Everyone should at least try to find a copy of this game and check it out. For all of you who want all of Batman's 14 alternative outfits in Batman Arkham City, you just need to be patient, as they'll all be available for paid DLC soon enough, and it's definitely cheaper than buying multiple copies of the game. So far, only the extra challenge maps have yet to be listed as paid DLC. The PC specs have been released for the hotly anticipated Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, and they seem to be in line with most games this season. A 2 GHz dual core CPU, along with 2 gigs of RAM and 512 megabytes of RAM on your video card, will net you the minimum requirements. While a quad core with 4 gigs of RAM and 1 gig of video memory is recommended. As always, the more the better to eke out all those wonderful graphical details. I bet you never would have seen this one coming. PBS put up a short documentary about how video games do have artistic merits. At 7 minutes in length, it's not too long, and it's an easy watch, so kick back, relax, and take a look. Luke Walker has made a special gift for Daisy over on Tired But Wired, and it's a miniature Gladys hair accessory. Like Daisy says, it's crazy detailed, looking especially well crafted. Too bad it's one of a kind, as I'm sure a lot of you gamer gals would like it. Congrats on the birthday, Daisy. Avery Faith stole the show at BlizzCon 2011 with her StarCraft adjutant cosplay, and it's easy to see why. On top of that, for all her hard work, she walked away with 3000 bucks. Nice job, Avery. Thanks to Rock Paper Shotgun, who brought to our attention an article on GeekWire with Gabe Newell of Valve. It talks about the reason behind all those crazy sales in Steam. Can you believe they end up making even more money with those sales than before? And all the customers they bring in stick around even longer. The whole thing is an interesting read. Check it out. Now this is just crazy. Microsoft Research has now figured out how to use a Kinect, a piece of beam splitter glass, and a projector to create virtual objects that interact with you. I mean, just look at this video. This could lead to all kinds of crazy games and advanced interfaces. I can't wait until we see this in production. The Phoenix Wright movie site put up this still, and it looks exactly like the game. Now everyone is just waiting to see the finished project. Unfortunately, it's only coming out in Japan on February 11th, but hey, maybe we can just play along instead of needing subtitles. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim remembers a time when video games were sold with commercials made of real flesh and blood people. Not like they needed to do that given how good the game looks, but this dragon, yeah, that makes it all worth it right there. Back in the day, adventure games were the best. And Benjamin River seems to recognize that, as he's created an adventure survival horror game in a Pixar art style that just calls out to the 13 year old in me. No word on release date or anything like that, but keep an eye on his website here for updates. Rockstar stole the show on October 25th by dropping a bombshell and announcing Grand Theft Auto V, and saying a trailer will be incoming November 2nd, 2011. Also, Kotaku has the rumor mill in full gear, with a prediction that GTA V will now be set in Los Angeles. I guess we'll find out soon enough just how right they are. And the number one story of the week from Joystick with 290 likes is this retro Metroid cosplay is without equal. Dan Cattell has won Halloween already with his 8-bit Samus and 8-bit Chozo statue costumes. Yeah, I know we've posted about these before, but come on people, these costumes deserve it. They rock. That's all for the news. Here's your video game releases for November 1st, 2011. The multi-platform releases are Motion Sports Adrenaline for PS3 and Xbox 360, 
NCIS The Game for PC, PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii, NASCAR Unleashed for PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii, Cabela's Survival Shadows of Katamai for PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii, GoldenEye 007 Reloaded for PS3 and Xbox 360, Sonic Generations for PC, PS3, and Xbox 360, and finally Lord of the Rings War in the North for PC, PS3, and Xbox 360. The PS3 sees the release of the hotly anticipated Uncharted 3. The Xbox 360 gets Otomedius Excellent. The Nintendo Wii sees Monopoly Collection. The PSP gets Fate Extra Limited Edition. The Nintendo 3DS gets Cars 2 and Harvest Moon The Tale of Two Towns. And finally, for hardware this week, we have the Thrustmaster Ferrari 458 Racing Wheel for Xbox and the Thrustmaster TH8RS Gearbox for PC and PS3. As always, to get more information on any of the stories we covered, check the description below. You can also check us out on our website at www.weeklygamingrecap.com. Follow us on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash wgamingrecap or subscribe to us here on YouTube. Until next time, see you later.